Is Yellowstone's supervolcano about to erupt? Scientists have discovered a newly opened volcanic vent spewing steam into the air. Located five miles beneath the surface of Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, lies a ticking time bomb that took more than 640,000 years to build. The Yellowstone supervolcano is a vast reservoir of magma with the potential to unleash a Category 8 eruption that would be 100 times more powerful than Krakatoa. Fortunately, Yellowstone has never erupted in recorded human history. However, a new discovery has highlighted just how active this seemingly dormant volcano really is. Scientists from the United States Geological Survey USGS, have discovered a newly opened volcanic vent in the Norris Geyser Basin. The vent sits at the foot of a rhyolite lava flow and is spewing steam into the air. While driving south from Mammoth Hot Springs toward Norris Geyser Basin early on August 5th last summer, a park scientist noticed a column of steam billowing through the trees and across a stretch of marsh, the USGS explains. Eagle-eyed scientists alerted the park's geology team to verify whether this was indeed new activity. The new vent was discovered last summer in an area called the Roadside Springs Thermal Area. Located within a stretch of warm, hydrothermally altered soil, the new feature is about 9.8 feet 3 meters, below the surface of the marsh, about 200 feet 60 meters long. Shortly after it was identified, park geologists visited the vent to take a closer look. There, they found a thin layer of gray silica clay barely covering the soil, and its temperature was 77 degrees Celsius, 171 degrees Fahrenheit. This suggests the new vent is very young, the team says. It's not the first time this type of hydrothermal activity has been seen in the area. In 2003, a similar vent was spotted on the other side of the same rhyolite lava flow. Are the new feature and the activity that began in 2003 hydrologically connected? The USGS asked. Possibly. One could draw a line along the axis of the old active area and it would intersect the new feature. The line also follows a fault trend that runs from the Norris Geyser Basin north to Mammoth Hot Springs and beyond. The new vent continues to spew steam into the air through the fall, but gradually fades in the winter. The feature remains active, but there is water in the vent, reducing the amount of steam being released, the experts add. Whether the powerful plume will return in the summer of 2025 remains to be seen. So far, geologists have mapped more than 100 major hydrothermal areas in Yellowstone National Park, as well as more than 10,000 areas within its boundaries. The activity of these features waxes and wanes over time. In fact, some of them are accelerating, the experts joke. Fortunately, the USGS assures that there are still about 100,000 years left before the supervolcano is likely to erupt. In of major eruptions, Yellowstone has had three in the past 2.08, 1.3, and 0.631 million years, they explain. That would mean an average of about 725,000 years between eruptions. If that were the case, there would still be about 100,000 years to go, but that's based on an average of two intervals between eruptions, which is not meaningful. NASA believes drilling six miles, 10 kilometers, into the supervolcano beneath Yellowstone National Park to pump in pressurized water could cool it down. Although the mission would cost $3.46 billion, 2.63 billion pounds, NASA considers it the most feasible solution. Harnessing heat as a resource also offers the potential to fund the plan. It could be used to power geothermal power plants, which generate electricity at a very competitive price of around 10 cents, 8 pence, per kilowatt hour. But this method of taming a supervolcano could potentially backfire and trigger the very supervolcano NASA is trying to prevent.
Drilling all the way to the top of the magma chamber would be extremely risky, however, careful drilling from the bottom could be successful. Even aside from the potential risks of damage, the plan to cool Yellowstone by drilling is not a simple one. Doing so would be a very slow process occurring at a rate of one meter per year, meaning it would take tens of thousands of years to cool it completely. And still, there's no guarantee that its success would last for at least hundreds, if not thousands of years.